All right, let's talk about these new bodies now that God has for us. You're talking about the creation groaning. Every time I drop something on the ground and have to pick it up, I understand that I, I groan. And when I'm down there picking it up, I think to myself, what else can I do while I'm already down here? <laughs> Be a steward of your time. Yeah. <laughs> Be a good steward of your time. Now, these new bodies that, that we're going to receive from the Lord, they're still us, we're still us, but we're in a glorified state. Uh, heaven is the earthly life of the believer, glorified and perfected. Uh, we don't lose memory of what happened here. Uh, we know more, but so let's talk a little bit about those new bodies. Okay, and I know that you've used, uh, well, not you've used, the scripture cites Christ himself as the prototype, if you will, that we look at his resurrected body. When Christ is our life shall appear, we shall appear with him in glory. We shall be like him. So let's talk about this new body. How is it different from us, the body on earth? How is it the same? Great question. Uh, the, the Bible says that Jesus is the first fruits yes. from the grave. And, and as, as you quoted, Greg, we will be like him for we'll see him as he is. So what was his resurrection body like? We want to know what our resurrection bodies will be like? Well, we're told we'll be like him, and he's the first fruits from the grave, and the first fruits represent right. what's to, to come in the case of the other fruit, and that is us. We are going to have bodies like Christ. So here it is in Luke uh, 24, verse 37. They were startled, and they were frightened when they saw Jesus at first because they're thinking they saw a ghost. They're going, this man died, and, and, and says, this is a ghost. He said to them, why are you troubled? And why do, do doubts arise in your minds? Verse 39 of Luke 24, Look at my hands and my feet, Jesus says. It is I myself. Yes. Touch me and see. A ghost does not have flesh and bones as you see I have. And when he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. And he says, do you have anything to eat? And they gave him a piece of broiled fish and he took it and he ate it in their presence. He went to great lengths to demonstrate to us that the resurrection body is a real, actual, physical body and so that we don't take figurative those passages, or shouldn't rather, when it talks about eating and drinking at tables. And I've had people, I, I had a, a man in my church when I preached a message on this years ago uh, and talked about the feast and coming from the East and West. He came up to me, old saint of God, loved good doctrine, and he said, you are not actually saying that we'll have real bodies and that we'll eat and drink. And I said, that's what the Bible says. And he says, it just sounds so unspiritual. I said, well, why does it sound unspiritual? God is the one, you know, who made the body. And I thought, here is a great saint of God who would die before he would deny the do doctrine of the resurrection, but he doesn't actually believe it. Yeah. But I mean, the, the resurrection, look at in Job 19. Job says, I mean, here's the oldest book in the Bible. Job 19, verse 25. Job, in the midst of his suffering that he's undergoing, he cries out, he says, Oh, that my words were recorded, that they're written on a scroll, that they were inscribed with an iron tool on lead, or engraved in rock forever. The person going through suffering feels like, Oh, I, I wish my words would last. Well, Job, we're reading your words, and yeah, they've lasted. I know, verse 25, Job 19, I know that my Redeemer lives, and that in the end he will stand upon the earth. Not just that he'll be out in heaven somewhere. Right. He'll stand on the earth. And after my skin has been destroyed, yet in my flesh I will see God. Some people say, say well, you can't find the resurrection in the Old Testament. I go, ah, well, that's what it is. Yet in my flesh I will see God. I myself will see him with my own eyes. I and not another. It will really be me. It'll really be us. We'll have memory. When we stand before the judgment seat of Christ, we're told we're going to give an account for everything we've done in the body. So when people talk about, oh, we won't remember anything in heaven, uh, on the contrary, we'll remember more. Because yeah. I can't remember everything now, but what, if I'm going to give an account for my life, I have to remember it. 